to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, hello, my name is Hayley and I am mum to a nine month old little boy called Joel and I mainly upload all things motherhood. So if you are interested in that kind of thing, definitely hit the subscribe button down below. I would love to have you join me over on this channel. Today I am jumping on the bandwagon. I've seen quite a few people do these recently. Obviously we are coming out of lockdown. People are starting to travel a little bit further. Um, so, so this weekend we are actually going away to the Midlands to see um, Steve, my husband's parents. and um, They haven't seen Joel since September. And we are only there for a couple of nights, but with a baby there is so much to pack. So I am doing a what is in my baby's holiday bag video. This reminds me very much of the hospital bag video that I did nine months ago when I went into hospital to have Joel. Um, but obviously he's a bit older now. I need a lot more stuff and it is pretty impossible to pack lightly with a baby. So be warned, there is quite a lot of stuff in his bag. But if you are due to go away soon and you're really, really struggling for what to pack and you're worried that you might have missed something, then hopefully my, um, this video will be really helpful for you. And you can just make a little list as you go along so you don't forget anything. Obviously, all babies are going to be different ages. If your baby might be older, they might be younger, so they might need slightly different things to what Joel needs. If they're not weaning yet, they won't need some of the stuff that I have packed for him in this video. But hopefully this is helpful for you anyway. We have actually been away a couple of times since he was born, probably like two or three times, just to go and see grandparents, like sort of in between the lockdowns and stuff. Um, so I feel like I'm getting to be a little bit of a pro at this now. Um, I am very much about making a list because you have so much to remember and my bag very much comes second nowadays. Um, so as long as he's got everything he needs, I literally just chuck a few bits in for me and don't even think about it. Don't even make a list for myself anymore. It's all about him at the end of the day. So yeah, anyway, without further ado, let's get into the video and hopefully this will be helpful for you if you are due to go away soon. Okay, so I figured the best way to do it was just to lay it, literally lay it all out on the landing to show you what we've got. So we are using Steve's changing bag. He doesn't use this that often um, because it's normally me taking Joel out and about. Um, so I have like a handbag style changing bag, but this is more practical for when we go away because it's so big. We use this as the baby's hospital bag as well. It's just so deep and you can fit so much in there. So this is the, the Queen changing bag, I think. A lot of places do a similar one um, and this retails for between 15 and 25 pounds depending on where you find it but it's brilliant because it has all of these insulated um, like bottle holders in the front pocket which is really really good and I know that some of these in a similar style do have a USB charger um, so you like I think you plug it in and it heats it warms the bottles for you on the go so it's really handy but yeah, there's so many different pockets in here and it's just such a good practical bag. So hopefully we will fit all of his stuff in here. If we don't, he's got his little grey personalised rucksack with his name on um, that he uses for Nanny's house when I'm at work. Um, so yeah, we'll just take that as an extra little bag for him. Okay, so we're there for two days um, plus the day that we're travelling. So today, so what I've got, basically I've got like two outfits plus a spare outfit. We shouldn't need any more than that. He doesn't tend to need spare clothes. Obviously, he's going to have the outfit that he's travelling up in today as well. So that's kind of like four outfits. But basically, the first outfit I've packed is his grey tracksuit with little bears on. This was from H&M. It's just really quick and easy just to throw on. We've got his personalised beige hoodie. Um, this is just in case we go out and about for a walk and he can chuck it on over this outfit, I thought. So another outfit, we've just got a little t-shirt with some grey ribbed leggings and um, both of these were from Matalan. And then we've got his little denim jacket with the sheepskin collar. This was from Primark. Um, so he can throw that on with that or the hoodie or that on with that or whatever. So he's got a hoodie and a jacket in case we, because we are going out for a walk and I know it's a little bit colder up there. Then he's got two hats. So he's got his personalised one from Next and then he's got his beige ribbed beanie from Zara um because I do match his hats with his outfits hence why he's got two I can't imagine we would need his sun hat but it is meant to be quite sunny this weekend not necessarily hot but I've got it just in case we need it because um I've had a few days recently where I've been caught out and it hasn't been hot but because the sun's out his scalp has gone a little bit red and I felt like the worst mum in the entire world so I just think their scalp is so sensitive so I've got it with me just in case and then the last outfit I've packed is this brand new set. He hasn't worn this yet because he's only just going into nine to 12 months clothes. Um, so this was from Matalan again, and it's just a little gorgeous 
blue, um, it's really soft material actually, like a little blue dungaree set with a white top. Then we have a brand new pack of white baby socks that I got in Primark the other day because they've reopened now. It's so exciting. His white socks are so grubby now that he's crawling and I do like him to have white socks with everything. I think it just looks smart. I did get a grey pack of these as well, but I'm just taking the white ones because they just go with everything. You can't beat a fresh white pair of baby socks. And then I'm taking his little Ralph Lauren trainers as well because... Now that he's more mobile, I do like to put little trainers on with most of his outfits and they just go with everything. So then down here, we've got two bibs. These are just literally plain bibs from Primark um, and we have four vests. So that's one for each day plus two spare, just in case we need them. Um, we tend to use the same vest um, overnight and then keep it on the next day because he doesn't really obviously get it dirty overnight. So we do kind of try and save on washing and do that. But yeah, we've got two spare vests in case he needs them. Um, so yeah, I've just packed those little safari print ones as well. And then moving on to sort of like sleepwear and stuff, we've got his gorgeous grey cable knit blanket. This was from Mother Care in their closing down sale when I first found out I was pregnant. So I got this like literally just after my 12 week scan and this was his hospital blanket that I took in with me. I just think it's such a gorgeous blanket and he always has a blanket for nap times during the day. So we are taking that for nap times. Then he has got his um, white velour sleeping bag with the little elephants on it. This was from John Lewis, it's so soft. Um, and it's only, I think it's only a one tog, but he seems to be absolutely fine with it. It's not cold, not too cold at night at the moment. And I put a long sleeve vest on underneath his sleep suit. And then, yeah, this is absolutely fine. We've also got a dummy clip. I will be taking two dummies with me. He's currently having a nap, so he's obviously got them with him. Then we have got two sleep suits. So one for each night we are there. I'm not gonna take any spares. I don't think we'll need them. Um, I'll probably jinx it now, but yeah, you know. <laughs> So we have this gorgeous white one with little elephants on. This is from Mamas and Puppers. And then we have this gorgeous grey one with elephants on again. Um, and this was in a set of three from Next. He hasn't worn either of these yet because, like I said, he's just about to go into nine to 12 months. So you literally cannot be a fresh, white, brand new sleep suit on a baby. I'm so excited to see him in these. Then over here, I've also packed his little Tommy Tippy hairbrush because I do like to brush his hair every day or it goes a little bit wild. And then his favourite bum bum toy. So he always has this for naps and at night time. God forbid we forget that. So then on to nappy changing stuff and bath time. So I've got his hooded giraffe towel. This was from Matalan. Um, so taking that one. Then we have 12 nappies, which should be absolutely fine for the next two days. Plus I have a couple in my changing bag um, for our journey up there today. I usually use about four or five nappies a day now, plus his nighttime one. Um, so yeah, I've packed 12 just in case. We use the Aldi Mamiya nappies during the day, but now that they've stopped doing the premiums in size three and above which is really annoying or I think it's size four and above they've stopped doing them um these ones we find are leaking at night where he goes 12 hours um without a nappy change so we are using pampers at night time I know it's a bit of a faff having two different types but um obviously pampers are expensive to use all the time and we could we could buy them but I when we've got a cheaper brand that works perfectly fine during the day I'd rather just stick to these during the day and then literally one pack of pampers will literally last us for a month because we are only using one overnight um so yeah I've got one for each night there and then we've got a fresh pack of wipes and a fresh pack of nappy sacks just so we've got more than enough then I've got his Tommy Tippy bath and room thermometer. I, this is honestly such a godsend for bath time so we take that everywhere with us it doesn't take up much space at all then we have all of his bath products. So we've got his body wash. We've always used Child's Farm products ever since he was born. We love them so much. We did get gifted some Johnson's, but we've always gone back to Child's Farm. Um, so yeah, we've got his bubble bath, body wash, moisturizer, which we always put on his legs after bath time because they get really dry. And then his baby bedtime pillow spray. This smells of the tangerine um, bubble bath that matches this range. We've actually run out of it, so we're using that one. Um, but it smells so good and I'd like to take this when we go away because it kind of can make his cot smell of home. Sounds silly, but I think it helps him sleep. Um, then we've got a big pot of his pseudocrime. He does get a bit of nappy rash sometimes. So yeah, we always take that with us. We've got his little toothbrush and toothpaste because he's got six teeth through now. 
um, and then also he's had a tiny bit of a cold it is getting better now but I want to have the cow pole with me just in case because he is very snuffly at night time still I also have his bongella but that is in the front pocket of the bag downstairs so yeah I will always take the bongella with me everywhere I go so then books and toys Sorry guys, there is literally so much to think about when you go away with a baby. So yeah, I've packed three of his favourite books. Um, so this one, he loves touchy-feely books at the moment and he loves lift the flat books. So we do um, read these most days. So um, yeah, he's got a lot of books, but these are definitely his favourites. Um, so yeah, I'm taking those with us and then a couple of toys as well. So I'll show you what toys I'm taking. Okay, so toys wise, I do like to take things that are quite portable. So no like massive bulky toys. It's a lot easier now he's a bit older. We don't need to take his baby bouncer or a bath support or anything like that with us. So it does make it slightly lighter traveling with a baby. But I've gone for the most portable toys that I can find, but also his favorites as well. So his shape sorter is not the most portable thing in the world, but we wouldn't really be without this. He loves it. He hasn't really got the concept of chucking the shapes in the holes yet, but he does like to sort of rattle them around, tip them all out put them back in he likes the sound it makes so yeah we take this everywhere baby dates everything plus his stacking cups these were 2.99 in home bargains and honestly best toy we've we've got they've also got holes in the bottom so you can use them in the bath or the paddling pool but yeah he loves these so much and they are very portable we've also got a crinkly like touchy feely safari book this is really good if you're out and about or for the car journey because it can clip onto things so we always take that he loves playing with these and the sounds that they make we've also got again a really good one for the car or the pram his hungry caterpillar flashcards he loves looking at all the colorful pictures in here so yeah again a really portable toy to take with you and the Lemay's toy you can never go wrong with one of these I don't really know any baby that doesn't isn't fascinated by these um so yeah you've got the sensory kind of black and white images on the back and then all of the colorful stuff on the front it's got a squeaker and again it's got the clip for the pram or the car seat as well he loves this I take this everywhere with me and then we've got his xylophone the reason I'm taking this probably not the most portable thing in the world but he just loves the sound that it makes he's obsessed so that will keep him entertained for a while and then finally his tiny touch tablet it's really nice and slim it can just slot in my changing bag and he loves pressing the buttons and the flash seeing the flashing lights and all the sounds it makes so that is a good one to take away with us this is a v-tech one and we got this in home bargains i think it was 7.99 so yeah just a small selection of toys i'm not going too overboard he is quite easily pleased with all of these toys and doesn't get bored of them too quickly but obviously he's got his books as well if we need them which we probably will um but yeah we'll probably put, just put these in a separate carrier bag and then he's got like his toy bag separately as and when we need it i think i will also take these flashing maracas these are so easy and portable and he loves them and the sound that they make so yeah they flash all different colors and he is just obsessed these are so easy to take away with you and these keep him entertained for ages so normally i would take his fold up portable changing mats that just slots in our changing bag nice and easy but because we're going to nanny and granddad's house i'm just going to take this it's not going to take up much room in the car it can just slot down the side um it's this is the one we just use downstairs in the lounge it's just a cheap one that we got in asda and i am just going to take this it's a bit more comfortable for him for like bedtime and stuff so yeah like i said doesn't take up much space so i am just going to take that rather than our fold up changing bag one so then with regards to weaning um so he is on three meals a day now so we do need to take his plate with us i'm not going to take his nice bamboo plates um with us because this is just so much more portable so i've just chucked two of his weaning spoons in here we have all the lovely bamboo spoons but i do find that these are um thinner so they go they're easier for him to get in his mouth and yeah these were a pack of five from home bargain so in 99p so i'm just taking two of those and then his fold out portable plates so it's in really handy ziplock bag i won't get it all out but basically it's got a lid on the plate so if you're out and about you can prep their lunch and put the lid on and it's all ready to go as and when you need it and then it's got this mat behind it that folds out with the suction bits on the bottom this is such a good thing if you're going away it's called the easy mat mini by easy tops and i think it was about 15 pounds and it comes in loads of colors obviously i've gone for the gray so yeah we will be taking that and two of his spoons with us 
We are also going to need to take his Tommy Tippy microwave steriliser. Um, I'm going to put all of his bottles in here, freshly washed and sterilised, so they are all ready to go. Um, I'm just uh, soaking in the sink at the moment. We're just going to take three bottles because he's only on three feeds a day, and then we can just wash them as and when we are done. I don't see the point in taking all all five of his bottles. We're trying to. You can't really pat light with a baby, but we're trying to go as light as we can. So yeah, we're going to put the bottles in here, and then it will save a little bit of space. Now, some people would probably manage without the prep machine and just boil the kettle when they're going away but we do like to take the prep machine it just makes life so much easier so i'm going to empty this so it doesn't leak, leak in the car and then we will be taking the prep machine with us again i have a carrier bag for all of his feeding stuff um and then obviously his formula we'll just take a tin of formula with us and his silicon bib for his meal times. And I also completely forgot to say that we are taking his favorite teether. This is the newbie shark. It is a lifesaver. It's got this gum massager on the bottom and you can put teething gel on it so they can just run it along their gums. But he loves this. It's so easy for him to get in his mouth. He also loves his Sophie giraffe, but we're just gonna keep it simple and take the one teether with us. And then of course we've got his sippy cup as well. So this is um, always comes on the go with us and yeah, we wouldn't be without this now that he's weaning. And then just for a little snack in the car in case we need anything, he's got some apple mini rice cakes and some parsnip puffs. Um, obviously they are opened because I don't obviously give these all to him in one go. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna have these handy in my changing bag with the sippy cup. And then we've just got like a snack and a drink for him in the car if we need it. And then with regards to like food and things, obviously his nanny is going to be making, um, we don't have a nanny, his grandma is um, going to be making food for him. Um, she's got like yogurts in and all sorts, but he does always have a fruit pouch after dinner every night. So I'm just taking one of these for each night. We use the organic mamia ones. They're basically the same as the Ella's kitchen pouches and he absolutely loves them. So that is everything that I have packed for him for this weekend. If you are watching this video, we are either already there or we are already back i'm not sure whether this is going to go live on sunday or monday i will see how much time i get to edit and upload it but thank you so much for watching anyway guys if you've found this video helpful do hit the um, thumbs up button down below and hit the subscribe button i would love to have you join me over here and i will see you guys in the next video Mwah. bye i'm thinking you were made for me it's in my birthday because yeah, i gotta say you're looking like a gift for me